This is my final sign off. Um, after 22 years of serving the citizens of the state of Washington, um, being asked to leave because I am dirty. Um, numerous fatalities, um, injuries, I've worked sick, I've played sick. Um, we've buried lots of friends over these years. I'd like to thank the um, citizens of Yakima County, as well as my fellow officers within the Valley. Without you guys, I wouldn't have been very successful and you've kept me safe and got me home to my family every night. State 1034, this is the last time you'll hear me in a state patrol car. And Jay Ansley can kiss my ass. Thank you for your 22 years and five months of service to the citizens of Washington State. You've taken on many roles in your time with the patrol. In your first year, you delivered a baby while on patrol in Bremerton. You've been a great role model and mentor for all young troopers serving in the area by sharing your knowledge and experience throughout the years. Thank you for your service. 1906. Uh, I'm a Christian, a husband, a father, and a police officer. I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States, to protect the freedom of the people who pay my salary. I do not work for my governor, but for them. The governor elected to this beautiful state has ordered medical workers, teachers, and first responders to get the vaccine. I have personal and religious reasons as to why I will not take the vaccine, but also the freedom to choose not to. I'll likely get fired over this video, but I'm nonetheless exercising my First Amendment right to speak freely. I've fallen in line for over a year with these useless and effective mask mandates, and I will no more. I will not sit back and sheepishly watch as those who serve the people of this state are given unlawful orders which threaten their livelihoods should they choose not to fall in line. Discretion is one of the most important parts of my job as a police officer. I will use that discretion and I will not enforce useless mask mandates or unlawful vaccine orders. Doing so is discrimination, which I would be fired for if it were any other discriminatory subcategory. Ms. Governor, I think you've forgotten that you were elected by the people, therefore you work for the people. Police officer or not, an oath is permanent. I'll stand the blue line for the people I swore it to. If you're watching this video, I encourage you to look deep down and decide if you're going to fall in line as sheep or if you're going to stand up for the rights that we have for the short time we still have them. If you got the vaccine out of pure choice, that is your freedom. But if you got the vaccine out of fear, be careful. You are slowly giving up the freedoms that so many have fought for. Today, I'm announcing that effective Friday, August 27th, masks will be required in all public outdoor settings where physical distancing is not possible, regardless of vaccination status. Masks have proven to be effective at reducing transmission and are a necessary measure right now, even in some outdoor settings, to help us fight COVID and to protect one another. In addition, the Oregon Health Authority strongly recommends masking and outdoor gatherings at private residences where people from different households do not maintain physical distance. This virus knows no boundaries and community spread can turn a small gathering into an outbreak. The harsh reality is that this Delta variant is much more contagious than previous variants we've seen. It has dramatically increased the amount of virus in our communities. I want to stress, however, that this rule doesn't mean you have to wear a mask at all times outdoors. You do not need to mask up for the fleeting pass by on a hiking trail or your morning walk with your dog. It does mean that you have to take personal responsibility and use common sense in outdoor spaces where you can't physically distance yourself. I know we're all tired of masking, but this simple act of kindness and compassion protects our communities and saves lives. Masks in combination with vaccines are a powerful way we can work together to fight this latest surge in COVID-19 and prevent deaths. 
Vaccination continues to be the best way you can protect yourself and your family from the Delta variant. And the most effective way we can help our exhausted nurses and doctors who are working around the clock to treat Oregonians sick with COVID in our ICUs, the majority of whom are unvaccinated individuals. Vaccines are free and now with full FDA approval of the Pfizer vaccine this week, we have additional reassurance that the vaccines are safe and effective. So don't wait to get vaccinated. Visit covidvaccine.oregon.gov to find information and a vaccine near you. Roll up your sleeves, take your shot, wear your mask, and please stay safe out there.